1,200 meters. They sprinting away from the 1,200 meter marker. Lots of silver is one of the trailers early on with the Lone Ranger. Ken Carson's very quick in the black silks towards the left hand side. They are followed further back there by Golden Pheasant and then comes Blaze of Silk. Socrates in the middle of the track is pacing it with them. Lots of silver now only three lengths off the leader then Falconer never mind Bill. Towards the outside Northern Route then comes Don Piero a couple of lengths off the leader and then Halo. As they approach the 500 meter markers, Socrates now takes it up. Blaze of Silk is right there. They are followed by Ken Carson, Golden Pheasant on the inside. Never mind, Bill's going to go through on the inside. Lots of silver tries to run on. Northern Roots also getting into the race. Arano's on the outside. Just outside the 200 meter marker, and Socrates hits the front. Socrates, Golden Pheasant, Blaze of Silk. Never mind, Bill on the inside. Socrates, but Golden Pheasant now hits the front. And Golden Pheasant running strongly now. And Golden Pheasant will win it. Second place is going to go to Socrates. Third, never mind, Bill, and then Northern Roots. Number one, Golden Pheasant, the Antonius Pius. For Ivan and Daryl Moore, Stuart Randolph, 214 days since its last run. And comes home well at 5.20 the win. Second to the toad favourite, number 13, Socrates. Third position will go to Nevermind Bull. And fourth place to Northern Root. A lot of these horses will come on with the run under the girth. Blaze of Silk Hailer. And further back was Don Piero. And then the Lone Ranger, Cassius Colt, Arano. And then Global Village. Falconer, one of the trailers. So, the winner comes on powerfully now with the yellow sleeves and that golden pheasant. And golden pheasant, still no stick required, just punched out in the closing stages and rushes away from the toad favourite, Socrates. Next up, we move to race number three. It starts off the pick six. There is a carryover of 200,000, estimate 1.9 million, back to the studio. Well, it's a good win for Ivan and Daryl Moore with number one, Golden Pheasant, and a horse that's been off for some time. And um, really nice to see him come through and come through in a big way. But before we touch on this win, uh, I must compliment Daryl and uh, the small string of horses that he's got, as I mentioned at preview. The stable's in very good form, so you're obviously doing something right, Daryl. Yeah, thanks, Deez. We've, we've hit a good run, and the horses are running well. Uh, like you say, small yard, it's, it's tough for us, but. Uh, yeah, we're trying our best with uh, all the horses that we got. It's it's always nice uh, to to have winners. That's that's how you promote yourself. So, yeah, just big thank you to all our owners that have supported us through thick and thin. It's paying off now. These owners, uh, Havisham and uh, of course uh, Mr. Barons. Yeah, uh, it's Nigel Rady and uh, Fred Bronze. Um, they started uh, Havisham Park uh, a couple, I think, a couple years ago. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's their first winner in the new setup. So, yeah, well done to, to Nigel and Fred. They're great people to train for, and I'm glad that we finally cracked a winner. Uh, yeah, this was, he, he had a bit of an injury after his last start, uh, so we've taken our time with them. They've had the patience. It's, it's paid off, and I've got to say thank you to Stuart as well. He's helped me um, quite a lot with him, and... Uh, you know, teamwork, it's, it's paid off today. Well, fantastic. You keep up the good work, and uh, it's a 100% strike rate for you. Daryl, give our bet to Grandpa Ivan, and uh, long may the hits come for the Moor Yard. Thank you very much. Well done to Daryl, and uh, let's get Stu in. And as Daryl mentioned, it's been a long haul with us all. Stu, you've been firmly part of the team to bring him on, and he certainly comes through with flying colors back from a long break. Yeah, absolutely. And I, you know, I must say, after I rode him in our second round, he gave me a good feel. And unfortunately, he went wrong a bit. So, no, well done to Daryl. He put us all away, gave him every chance, and really nursed him back. Uh, the results speak for themselves. And a big thank you to them. Talking about uh, nursing a horse back, it, it, it's a long haul for certain horses more than others, depending on the injury and uh, what their issues are, Stu. 
Absolutely, Dees, you know, and I think also a lot of luck involved as well. Uh, you know, you get some horses that come back, but they never quite forget the injury. And, uh, you know, a few of the jockeys, they'll tell you, you know, they'll be travelling well, but as soon as you put the pressure on, that horse has always got it in his mind that, you know, things went wrong. And that, that some of them just don't turn back to how they used to perform. So it, it was a bit of a concern, but the good thing is he was doing some good work at home. And um, then again track and to race is another story but uh, thank goodness it all paid off and when I asked him for an effort today he quickened up well. It must be rewarding for you and for the owners as well, they've been, they've been very very patient to you. Yes, no, it's, uh, I'm very grateful for that and as I said, no, uh, big thank you to Daryl and, and the connections and you know, it's lovely that it's paid off because it's sometimes it doesn't always pay off but uh, thank goodness today it did. Okay, before you leave us, we'd like some input about your rides to come. We've got a pick six carryover, can you help us? It's going to be tough on my side. Look, I've got two, um, you know, one in the 2-4 and the last race, that 19.50. So we've got price chances. We'll see how we go. We need a bit of luck. And obviously with the going out there, the, the punters must just be aware it is on the soft side. Thanks for that, Stuart. Okay, thanks, Stu. Thank Lovely. You. Nice ride. Stuart Randolph on number one, Golden Pheasant. And you heard it from a jockey and trainer. A lot of hard work behind the scenes, bringing a horse back from this long layoff. But it certainly paid off handsomely for the owners. 113, 2 and 12. Up next, pick six time, 200,000 carryover. We're looking to reach 1,900,000. Get your bets on 14.05, five past two.